Hello and good afternoon. This is video 751. The title is going to be Dual Role Transvestism, which I had no idea what that was. Um, but uh, it's been sort of a, it's a today's 514, May 14th, 2021. Been kind of a low day. Uh, still waiting to hear back on the um, CT scan I had on my abdomen and uh, pelvis area to figure out kind of what in the hell is going on downstairs. Um, I don't think I made a video about it, but earlier in the week, um, had some severe pain and went to the doctor and they said, you've got a, uh, umbilical hernia, you know, or a lateral hernia. And I was like, I do. And they're like, yeah. And so they said, go see a surgeon immediately. And I uh, went upstairs in the same building, one doctor to a surgeon, and she said, yeah, you got a hernia. She said, we got to get a CT scan immediately. And uh, I was like, okay. So got the CT scan done, and I'm still kind of waiting on the results of it. And that's kind of what fed into this. Uh, that's the background for this video today. Uh, I did not get uh, the job that I applied for either. So I kind of have like two things that are kind of weighing on me, making my morale a little low, uh, that feeling of kind of rejection. And you're like, well, it's probably for the best. A bunch of other kind of stereotypical bullshit you tell yourself, you know, wasn't meant to be. Okay. But you still kind of, I still feel kind of bad about it. But anyway, so what got to this point? So uh, a couple days ago, I finally went to my Every time I go see a doctor, I get an email that says, your health record has been updated. I'm like, okay. So I finally clicked on it instead of ignoring it and creating an account with the hospital. And it turns out that uh, um, you know everything I've ever done is part of my electronic health record that goes with me from place to place, uh, or at least at this hospital. And I've been going to this hospital and the various doctor units in the system for, you know, a good 15, almost 20 years. So there's like, you know, everything I've ever done as kind of a, a mid middle-aged adult is in this system. And uh, almost everything, almost everything. And so I went through and, you know, added my name and accepted, you know, permissions and whatnot. So now I get a text on my phone every time uh, a bit of information is added to my health record. And I go check it out. The reason being that uh, I'm supposed to, I had the CT scan and I want to know like as soon as the scan comes in, what it said, and it'll be a summary of it, and whatever else. Um, you know, I want to know as soon as it happens because I want to know what's going on with my body, what's going on, everything. You know, am I going to have surgery? Do I need to have surgery soon? Can I wait on it? Whatever, whatever. So today, I got a little bleep, your record's been updated. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is it. This is the CT scan. And when I logged into the system, it said so-and-so has added, you know, the hospital has added a condition. And I was like, oh, oh, crap, you know, golly, I have a condition, you know. <laughs> uh, that's what I need, another condition. Um, and uh, I opened it up, and, and it said, uh, dual role transvestism. And I was like, dual role transvestism? What is that? Well, it turns out that that is the, it is uh, part of the ICD-10, uh, which is the kind of international uh, coding system. It says here, international version of the DSM uh, is to organize and guide treatment and research. Nomenclatures uh, created, if times driven by professional groups through a consensus process. So, you know, basically a way of, of you know, quantifying or, or making a universal, you know, treatment and whatnot. You know, when you when you get billed, you get the the codes, the IS ISCD ten codes. Anyway, so the hospital. Uh, or rather someone that I saw while I got my CT scan 
uh, put me down for trans, for trans, no, not trans, sexualism, um, but dual role transvestism. Okay. Uh, so not being a transsexual or being transgender. I am a transvestite. Okay. According to what they wrote. And so, you know, I kind of ran through my day. Um, you know, I, I didn't strip naked <laughs> when I got my CT scan. I showed up at the hospital. They gave me some lovely uh, fluid to drink that had contrast in it. Drank it. And, uh, you know, the contrast coated my system so that when the I went through the machine, and it created an image of my body by injecting radioactive elements into me. I don't know, the, whatever. To create the image, uh, it used the dye in my body. And then I, I left, you know. At no point did I get undressed. At no point did I drop trow. I dropped skirt. Uh, I was fully clothed, okay. So how do we get to this diagnosis? And who did it? I mean, it's not, uh, the, the record only says the hospital, you know, the name of the hospital updated my record. It doesn't say who, you know, and it doesn't say when. So somebody, based off my visit the other day, thinks I'm a transvestite. Um, and it kind of just took me back like why why do you even have to put this down so um here is what i was pegged for okay this is what they pigeonholed me in and said that according to the isd 10 i'm a dual role transvestite uh individual wears clothes of the opposite sex in order to experience temperature temporary membership in the opposite sex. Uh, there's no sexual motivation for the cross-dressing and the individual has no desire for a permanent change to the opposite sex. Um, you know, kind of what I would consider to be cross-dressing in a way. Uh, I was kind of raised uh, with the idea that transsexual or tr no, transvestites was a sexual thing. And, and again, maybe I'm wrong and, and this is what this is trying to map it out, you know. But again, how is me going to the doctor's office, drinking the con contrast, being run in through the machine a couple times and leaving, how did they judge me and say that I'm a transvestite? Do you know what I mean? Like, why, why does that even matter? You know, so in the back of my mind, I'm trying to figure this out again, hoping that I would see the results of my CT scan that would say, uh, oh, Robin has, you know, a, a, a 10 centimeter hernia bulge in her, you know, lower left quadrant, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I wanted the technical specs, but somebody I think must have read my uh, report my scan the data and realize that I had a prostate um, you know but again of all the things to come from that why am I why are they updating my condition to be transvestism when I'm not you know um, there is uh, gender identity disorder. There, I mean, in the ICD-10, there are categories for that. So, whoever read it, you know, whether they looked at me or not, maybe they just saw the the image. You know, the image of my body. You know, it creates a 3D model that they can manipulate and look around and take slices of. You know, they probably said, "Oh, here's Robin. Robin has a prostate. Therefore, Robin is." male masquerading as female therefore transvestite you know what i mean but 
a, a series of assumptions. But, you know, how far down did this scan go to see that I, I, you know, I have a taco. I don't have a banana down there. I have a vagina. You know, I have a clitoris. I have, you know, I'm a post-op. So I'm just kind of curious to see, you know, what, uh, you know, when I can get an answer to it. There's no contact information. There's no send us a question. I mean, I'm going to ask um, when I go back to the doctor's office and say, can, can you give me some, help me to, under, this, my, this gets me out of, this is how I get into, uh, you know, help me to understand how this happened. You know, please help me to understand, you know, who did this and, and why. And it's wrong, you know. Um, I was able to delete it um, so that uh, it shows up in the deletion history. It keeps track of things you delete. But at least this way, you know, you know anybody in the hospital can pull up this record and see it. And there it says, you know, my name, my age, do, 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 and my conditions, like I said, transvestite, transvestism. So, uh, on top of not getting the job that I wanted and having to wait to see what's going on with me, uh, this is just kind of another slap in the face, you know, kind of like you know, to be, I mean, it's, is it misgendered? It kind of is, you know, to say that I'm a man masquerading as a woman. I mean, I, I, I never would have thought that of being, I, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, but I just wanted to share it. Um, it's kind of got me a little riled up, for lack of a better word. Um, I had a good hour when I found it. I was like, I got mad. I got angry. And then I got upset. And then I, you know, I started to doubt myself. And, you know, because of um, the surgery, uh, when I saw the doctor earlier in the week, the one who said, you got a hernia, we got to operate. Um, she said I, we couldn't operate right away because I'm on blood thinners. And so it's been a couple of days to let the blood thinners, let my blood thicken up a little bit. And I'm not going to take my estrogen shot because I don't want to, you know, now that I'm not on blood thinners, um, it could be, you know, that can lead to a whole other mess. My blood's too thick, you know, but anyway, I just wanted to share my story. Like I said, it's, it's a little frustrating. It's a little weird. And, and like I said, what is the point? And, and, you know, the amount of time it took them to, you know, I, <laughs> I want to know about the results of my scan. I don't want to know about the condition. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what's going on with me, you know? Um, so anyway. How do you keep someone in suspense? Well, I'll tell you later. Uh, I have to wait a couple of days now. It's the weekend. And it uh, could very well be next week I'll be in the hospital, you know, getting this thing fixed. Um, my imagination has kind of run away. And, um, you know, it's uh, uh, hernias usually are pretty benign. Uh, in my case, not to gross you out, I can actually push my stomach back in. Uh, it comes out and I can push it in. It's kind of kind of like the pillory dope. It makes a cool noise. It's like like a whoopee cushion, but I can push my stomach back in through the hole. You know, kind of like an octopus going through a hole, a little hole, and the octopus kind of wiggles its way through. I can push that back in, and they'll just you know sew it up and make sure it doesn't come out, but. Uh, it can be a a, a life threatening thing because depending on if it's not your stomach, if it's your intestine, uh, it can strangulate itself and the tissue dies and becomes necrotic, and that's not good to have inside your body. 
if it's part of your intestine, you can have some uh, excrement, some poop. And again, that can go in your body and, you know, poop, poop in your body, you know, toxic. Uh, so there's, there's some concern here. It's something to worry about. But obviously I can't do anything about it. So anyway, uh, so dual role transvestism. Who would have thunk? All right, I'm going to sign off here. I wish you the best of luck in being your authentic self as you define it. Till next time. Bye.